Welcome to Washington, D.C. Hidden Gems. While museums and politics may be the first things that come to mind for many when thinking about Washington, D.C., the city also has a fantastic restaurant and bar scene. Although the coronavirus pandemic pressed pause for a bit, there are still some great options available for beer lovers who are visiting or living in the city. In this video, I am going to share my itinerary for the dedicated beer lover. I will cover my top 5 picks for the best breweries, top pick for beer-centric events, and suggest a museum tour for the true beer historians out there. The craft beer scene has taken over almost every inch of the globe. With experimental breweries, new takes on old traditions, and pubs catering to beer lovers of all palates, there's a beer for you no matter where you're traveling. America's capital is full of great beer as well. And DC-based beer fans get the added benefit of exploring breweries in Southern Maryland and Northern Virginia. With bars in a constant state of flux because of coronavirus, here are the best area breweries that are open for business. DC Brow was the city's first brewery since Prohibition, so it's been an important part of DC's brewing history. It opened in 2009, and in 2011, the company officially tapped its first keg of beer entirely brewed, packaged, and sold within the District of Columbia. It became the city's first packaging brewery since 1956. Something more of which I will tell you about later. The brewers obviously love what they do and offer tours at Brow. Justin Cox was once a Vanderbilt University engineering student with a discerning taste for beer. Years later, he and a fellow student formed Atlas Brew Works to further their passion for craft beer and community. I admit that as a Vanderbilt graduate myself, I may be a little biased. So give it a try yourself and let me know what you think. Another thing I love about the place is that in 2015, Atlas became a 100% solar-powered brewery. It makes them a leader in environmental sustainability, but also it means that you can expect fresh product and drink with a clearer conscience. It is said that it all began with a homebrew kit from his girlfriend. Then in 2012, Mike McGarvey and his business partner Dave Coleman took their passion for brewing to the big leagues with Three Stars Brewing Company. To date, the brewing team has released over 200 different distinctive beers and are dedicated to pushing the envelope when it comes to creativity. They have been named DC's best local brewery four times by Washington City Paper and were named Rising Stars in 2014 by Star Chefs magazine. Thor Cheston, the owner of Right Proper Brewing, developed an interest for craft beer in college while attending a pre-med program at Georgetown. His vision was to create a neighborhood brew pub with fresh, affordable beer and food that was approachable. Right. Proper's Shaw Brew Pub is located near the Howard Theater in the historic Shaw neighborhood. Don't miss out on their Brooklyn production house and tasting room. It is open every day of the week and allows you to bring in your own food. Famed beer director Greg Engert conceptualized Blue Jacket to provide beer lovers with an expansive range of lagers and ales. And it certainly has an impressive list with 20 plus beers and five cask brews. The beer is amazing, but it's where they are displayed which is just as inspiring to me. The space that Blue Jacket occupies is as distinctive as the brewery itself. It is a 5,600 square foot building, built in 1919. It was part of the Navy Yards Ship and Munitions Manufacturing Complex, and it is one of the few true industrial buildings remaining in Washington, D.C. Now that I've covered my top picks for breweries, let me highlight a couple of opportunities for larger celebrations beyond a night on the town. First up, Brew Tours. If you are looking for a high-end pub crawl-like experience, I recommend City Brew Tours. The tour gives you a chance to sample the beers and go behind the scenes, all under the tutelage of expert guides and drivers. City Brew Tours is available in other cities besides DC. 
So with over a decade of business, they have created a great experience that blends history, knowledge, and great beer selections. They suspended operations during the coronavirus outbreak, but have shown responsible planning in their reopening. The DC Beer Festival has become a fun, annual tradition in DC. Typically held in Nationals Park in the early fall, it brings together dozens of craft breweries and seasonal beers. There are also dozens of food trucks throughout, as well as lawn games and DJs and other entertainment. See the link in the description below for further information and planning. Washington DC's beer legacy goes far back. In fact, do you want to taste a beer from the 1880s? Well now you can. Sort of. Beer experts brewed a batch of Senate Lager, a beer from DC's history, after a researcher discovered the recipes for it in the National Archives. The beer was created by Christian Herrick, a German immigrant who founded Herrick Brewing in 1872. It became the largest brewery in DC, for a time, and made the founder quite wealthy. The brewery even managed to survive prohibition, until it eventually closed. However, the brewery's legacy has been kept alive, by the staff at Herrick House, a museum in DuPont Circle, that served as the brewmaster's original brownstone mansion. Not only is it a monument to DC beer history, it is also an architectural marvel. It offers tours and is worth a look. I took these photos on a recent tour myself. Be sure to ask about the remarkable pieces of antique furniture. The house also has an interesting rotating exhibition of over 1,000 items of their memorabilia, including bottles, cans, signs, and branded objects of every kind. I hope you have enjoyed this video and are ready to try out a few of the suggestions. If you have suggestions of your own, please add them in the comments section. Please help the channel grow by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.